if you are under 18, click off this video because this just got real grownish. Okay, so if you are a child or teenager, I don't want you watching this. Okay, click off. You don't need to be hearing this. This is not for you. Okay, this is not for you. I'm a grown woman. I can do whatever I want. What's up guys, it's your girl L Just Living. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> okay guys, so today I have something, something a little bit different for you, okay? So I was strolling, cause I'm a traveler. So I like to read about different people, people's different travel experiences. And I came across this Reddit, <laughs> this Reddit um, story and I haven't read it yet. But listen, the title has me blown. So I thought I'd cut the camera on and we'd read it together, okay? So if I stumble just a little bit, just know this is my first time reading this, okay? Yeah, so I'm gonna scoot over because I'm gonna put this up on the screen so we can read it together. Okay, so the title, I, I figure out the positioning. This is my first time doing this, so I'll figure that out. But the title of this is I paid for an STD in Colombia. Colombia. So that title was, was it for me. So let's get into this story. Okay. Just a heads up, this story gets worse as it goes on. So you might want to stay until the end. Okay, a few months back, I went to Colombia with my buddies and my life hasn't been the same since. It was our first day in Colombia. And ever since we got off the plane, all we heard everybody talking about was Walled City. For those who don't know, Wall City is a little town where people go to party and hang out. Okay. The place is crawling with some of the hottest women you'll ever see. And once they know you're a tourist with money, they'll swarm you. I bet. I'm not a person who has ever paid for and I never thought I would since I'm a tall, handsome, and charming guy who's always had a way with the ladies, if I do say so myself. But for the first time ever, I decided to try it since everybody in the city was doing it and it was literally the norm in Colombia. Uh, I don't know if I believe that you tall, handsome, and attractive like that because you wouldn't have been phased by all this because all the girls would be throwing at you all the time and you would be used to it. But now you just want to do it just because everybody else doing it? Mm. Okay. <sighs> Sleeping with beautiful women was never a problem for me, but I was on vacation and in the walls and in Wall City all the females are literally prostitutes or girls on vacation with them with their man. <sighs> Handsome guys that used to get thrown at them are not like intrigued by prostitutes because they're like a little they can they have the option to be choosy. I, okay, okay, I'm gonna get over that and I'm gonna keep on with the story. I'm sure I could have found other tourists like myself but the sexiest girls out there are not having for free because that's how they make a living or so the tour guide told me and my friends i found the hottest girl i could and she told me her hourly rate was 200 usd and she charged 300 dollars for the whole night and <laughs> and at this time it was around 2 a.m so i figured i might as well spend the extra 100 dollars and have her until the morning I paid for a $50 motel that we could stay in for five hours and got us a bottle of some um, Colombian vodka that I can't even remember the name of to save my life. Once we got in the motel, we drank most of the bottle, but I was still fully functional. You can say I was the right amount of drunk, not sloppy, but not sober. After we finished drinking, she insisted we take a quick shower, which we did. Then we got right into it after that. She was sitting on the bed with my... Oh, hold on. She was sitting on, on the bed playing... Then I put the condom on and she proceeded to give me the Gawk Gawk 3000 while trying to stick her finger in the place a guy shouldn't be touched. Oh, this just got ready, ready too much. <laughs> she quickly stopped after realizing I didn't like it and just continued giving me the Gawk until I turned her around and went to town. I brought five condoms with me to the motel and planned on using all of them since I was paying and wanted to get my money's worth but that's where I really messed up okay pause if you are under 18 click off this video because this just got real grownish okay so if you are a child or teenager I don't want you watching this okay click off you don't need to be hearing this this is not for you okay this is not for you 
So I wanted to get my money's worth, but that's where I really messed up with Ryan. So I let her on top. Then all of a sudden, I felt the sensation get better and wetter and realized the you-know-what popped. Child, I was concerned at first, but was just praying she didn't have anything. I was more than drunk at this point since we finished the whole bottle. I looked, oh, I started this. I can't stop now. That's nasty. I'm going to have to cut some of this out. After I finished, I paid her and linked up with one of my buddies who was getting his on in the next room. Y'all lame. Y'all so lame. Uh, so we could Uber back to our hotel. A few days later, I returned home and got tested like I usually do whenever I get a new partner. I didn't feel any symptoms, so I thought I was fine. Within the seven days of me waiting for my results, I slept with four girls who I've slept with before and hardly use protection. You nasty. You're just nasty. <laughs> oh, my letter. Okay. So again, I thought I was fine. The seventh day is here and I was in my car driving. I wasn't expecting a call from my doctor because they never call unless your test is positive. So I immediately knew something was wrong. I answered and the nurse proceeded to ask me identity questions the whole time i was answering the questions i knew i was positive for something i was just hoping it was something i could get rid of she then told me that my urine sample came back negative she proceeds to tell me there was something in my blood test in those few moments i felt like i was on mari or some show the way she was holding out telling me the results she then told me that everything was negative except for type 2 her and you were with four women in another week for other in that very moment my heart sank and my world changed forever i bet it did i'm assuming they recently had other partners and just didn't know who gave it to them oh you thought they were like you just one of those get arounds i'm assuming they re they recently had other partners and just didn't know who gave it to them so i wasn't going to be the bearer of bad news and if it was a chance they didn't have it I didn't want them to know I had it, but they all just slowly removed themselves out of my life without talking to me about it. I know the right thing to do would be to have told them, but I just don't have it in me as I effed up as effed up as it sounds. Yeah, it's pretty mad. It's pretty messed up. And, and you know, if they have it and they are not sure about it either, then they're, they're kind of messed up too for not telling you as well. All y'all messed up. Um, but you, you probably the worst. <laughs> I didn't want to be the a-hole who they, who they hated because I changed their lives forever, even though I am. I lay in bed every night thinking about how I messed up a person, how messed up of a person I am because those girls are good people and they were po possibly severely affected by a stupid decision I made out of lust. I used to have multiple partners, uh, um, multiple thingy things, <laughs> multiple times a week, but since that phone call, which was almost a year ago, I haven't touched a woman because I no longer have the urge to. I bet. Mostly because I'm so depressed and ashamed of the person I am now. I feel disgusting and selfish for what I did and I couldn't live with myself knowing I infected someone else, especially now that I know I have it. I miss my old life. I miss not having to worry about infecting someone else. But at the end of the day, I just keep remembering I did it to myself and there's no turning back now. Looking back on it, I was really playing Russian roulette by sleeping with all those girls unprotected but i know for a fact i didn't get it from them because i got tested right before i went to columbia and everything was negative how ironic is it that i never had an s and the first one i get is one i can't get rid of i'm just thankful it's not um H as it the universe sure has a way of humbling you I didn't come on here looking for sympathy. I just came to share my story and get this off my chest somehow because I haven't told a soul. And also to spread awareness on prostitutes. It's not worth it. It's not worth it, guys. Don't lose the best parts of your life over one or five mm, like me. Moral of the story is do not pay for play, especially not in Colombia. Most of the women there are illegals from Venezuela who haven't been checked years possibly never in their lives but if you're going to take that chance just remember that two and three will have some kind of faith thank you guys for listening and let me know if you want an update an update on what <laughs> i mean you just as bad as the women the, the if you ask me you kind of a free one 
Child. All right, so let me see. Let me see what some of these comments say. Me personally, I think um, the story is a bit interesting. I've kind of already given my opinion of this of this person and their story as I was going through. Because as I told you, this is my first time reading it with you. So some things a little off about the story. Some things I don't really trust. But let's get into some of these comments. Somebody said, I just got back from Columbia. You got ripped off. I only paid $150 a night. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Someone says, you did not get it from Columbia, bro. It takes months for the first contact to test positive. Basically, you, if anything, you probably gave it to the, to, the, to the old girl who you claim gave it to you. Someone says, I'm praying for you. Um, someone says, that sucks, bro. That's the nature of the beast, though. My buddy paid 300 to use his virgin to lose his virginity, and he caught the clap at the same time. Bro, you should have told the, you sh yes, you should have told those girls because they could possibly infect others. That's a very selfish decision you made and shows your true colors. If you actually feel apologetic, you need to tell those girls because they could spread it to so many other people. That's true. And who's to, who's to know if they stop talking to you for that reason? Maybe they stop talking to you because they just, maybe they found out you're dealing with too many people. Maybe they found out, you found someone else they want to deal with and not you. You know, who's to say what the reason is? So you definitely should tell them, especially if you know that you for sure have it. Not to make you feel better because you should have told those ladies. But if you didn't have an outbreak, it is the... It, it is way, way less likely that you spread it to them. My mom's husband has it and they use protection or would avoid it when he has an outbreak. Mom's still herpes free. Herpes is very common. You shouldn't be going dormant on finding a partner. Just be honest from now on. I guess it is pretty common nowadays. It ain't used to be. Someone says, how could you engage in such risky behavior then have it with no protection with so many people you probably heard so many people here horrible someone else says hmm you probably already had it you gave it to her that stuff stays dormant 10 to 15 years <laughs> y'all know i'm new to this <laughs> this new information all right someone says all parts of this story sound cap <laughs> first of all i gotta hear what this person has to say First of all, you go, you go so much into how great you look and how many women you get. Yet, the chick in Columbia, you go home with charging $200 an hour. Thank you. That's what I was saying. <laughs> but you the man? Okay, that's not even remotely adding up. Girls go for 100 an hour or lower. How y'all know this? How do y'all know this? And all night, yeah, some chicks might say 1 million pesos all night, but they're literally expecting you to negotiate down from that. And I'm talking 9 or 10. Man, how y'all know? How? So while you're all night, $300 is somewhat believable, but still high for 2023. That rate is making your entire story sound like a lie, especially for such a tall, handsome, and charming guy like you. Man, whatever. You said, then you said you had did it again five times from three to seven how lame are you because no way a chick could even handle an onslaught from me five times in this one you know i did call him lame too this person just going in they wrote a whole a whole essay i'm going to skip to the end of this person's rant but they are going in on every part of this dude's story all right do, 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 do. but the hurt thing you claim within seven days you found out the news so let's say five days of incubation period all sound like you know nothing about STDs. first of all you wrote this basically to say don't go to columbia because two out of the three chicks have s yet the only people you had consistently with were four american girls the fact is you don't know when you got it and you definitely don't know who uh, i agree with that part I'm not going to read all this. I think that's enough of it. Y'all let me know what you think about this story down in the comments. Do you believe this person? Like, is it is this real? There's some, there's some cap in some of this. He could have made the whole story up for all I know. But the whole part of being tall, handsome, and then spending all that money on some mm, mm tells me you're lying. Something's not right with this story. Is you not tall, handsome? You're just trying to put on like you are? Or you really think that in your head? Or this story is all cap, as the last person that I read said? Y'all let me know what y'all think about this person's story down in the comment below um and hey if you know any other stories that you would like me to to comment on and share with the rest of the rest of the family let me know down in the comments below okay and i will look it up i'll send me a link or something on ig 
I'll be returning to IG January 2024 at some point. <laughs> that's it guys if you like my stories let me know down in the, down below all right if you are a returning viewer returning subscriber if you're a returning subscriber you the real mvp baby without you there is no me i love you if you're a returning viewer that means you've seen a video before and but you haven't hit subscribe yet what you waiting for go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now it should be lighting up for you just boom 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 you know like a heartbeat well, not that fast there we go <laughs> and if you are brand new you know what to do hit the subscribe button for your girl and this is for everybody new returning um forever forever supporter all y'all make sure you have hit that likey like button for your girl okay so youtube can push my video out to more fun feet <laughs> to more fun people to join the family because you know we all over here we're about family fun and flights over here <laughs> That's it. As, as always, it's your girl L just living. Love you bunches. Bye-bye.